Hey everyone, Gamer J Lee here, and welcome back to another video. And this is something I've been waiting for for a very long time. And as you can see in the corner of your screen, I've got the turntable out. And whenever I have the turntable out, that usually means I've got a vinyl record. But this isn't any ordinary vinyl record. This is something from my childhood. This is something I grew up with. And if you guys know anything about me, I grew up with Sonic and Mortal Kombat, but mostly Sonic. This isn't that old school. It's not Sonic 2 old school. It's not Sonic 3D Blast old school, but it's close enough. So today, what I have for you is coming from Fangamer. You guys know them. I've done many of their products here on the channel. You can go there, pick up some cool Undertale stuff, some Sonic Adventure stuff, all good stuff. But... Speaking of which, that I mentioned, I have the Sonic Adventure 1 and, move that, the Sonic Adventure 2 vinyl soundtracks. Yes, I got both of them. Now, originally, I was going to buy the limited edition one, the one that came with both of them and some sort of special thing. But I missed out. And my reaction was a little something like this. Oh, fuck you, man! So, yeah. I was I was not a very happy camper. But I thought maybe we could check these out together and maybe play a little bit of the music on my beautiful Audio-Technica turntable over here. So let's go ahead, open this bad boy up. See what we got inside. There we go. There we go. Katie's over here laughing her ass off. She's like, wow, this is what you do for a living? No, this isn't what I do for a living. I work at a smoke shop for a living. This is what I do because I. Oh! 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 So I'm gonna cover this shit up, but they actually give you cards for a free digital copy of the soundtrack. That's pretty cool. So I can download this shit and put it on my phone. Okay. I like that. I, I see you. I see you, fan gamer, trying to get me to enjoy your product even more. You got the four. Like, they give you... Jeez, this came with a book? Oh, wow. It even shows you... Look, Sonic the Hedgehog. It shows you the name of his theme, which just doesn't matter. Let's, let's see. Because I, I want to hear Knuckles' theme. You got Tails. Believe in Myself. You got, ooh, who, why is this the next one? Wait, hold on, hold on. Why is he the next one in the track list? Oh, I'm Big the Derby Retard Cat, ha 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 ha. Where the fuck is, this is not Knuckles. This is Amy Rose. Where the fuck is Knuckles? There we go. Unknown to me, the guy who made this song sounds like DMX. But it literally has the lyrics on the site. Like, look, it has the lyrics and everything. Look at that. That's awesome, man. Unknown to me. You got DJ, DJ uh, Sonic. K over there doing little hand gestures. And then it just talks about interviews and stuff. Like, that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and let's see. Which one has unknown to me? Because that's all I care about. Well, I care about the introduction, but I also want to hear unknown to me. So... Side A of disc one. And these discs are pretty fucking cool. So we're going to pull both these out. Screw it. Like, look at this. Look at this right here. Boom. And, whoop. Oh, oh. Boom and bam. Look at that. Sonic Adventure 1 art. You got Sonic Blue on that side and Sonic White on that side. So we want to do, first one we should probably do is open your heart. Because that's the... That's the good stuff. So I actually just saw in this that a lot of the better tracks are on the second vinyl. So I think we're going to go with that one, showing off some of these. So let's see what we got here. So side C's got Unknown to Me, which is Knuckles theme, as well on side D, which is the same. Motherfucker, I didn't say turn. If I tell you to turn, you'll turn. But side D has the Open Your Heart, the full theme. So I think we're going to check that out. So let's see here. Side 
C, which they were on, and then it's the fourth one. So I gotta kinda like determine, I think it's maybe right about here. No, that's T call. Let's go a little deep. There we go. Okay, that line is always like being like I don't know who wrote that, but I don't chuckle. I rather flex my muscles. Who the fuck wrote that shit? Okay, let's actually go to the open your heart because I just needed to hear Knuckles theme on that. So we gotta go to side D, and then that is the last one. So it's gonna be near the very end of this vinyl. Bada boom. Rose guy in the room. Bada boom. There it goes. Yeah, there it goes. That's enough of this, but let's move on to the Sonic 2 soundtrack. Yeah, that that song, those songs bring back some old school memories. I remember playing this game as a kid, and literally that was two of my favorite parts of the game was the opening and then playing as Knuckles. Because back when you were a kid, all you wanted to do was play as Knuckles. Literally, you didn't want to play as anyone else, but you wanted to play as Knuckles. And that was the one thing I liked about this game. The voice acting in the game was complete shit. The animations in the game were complete shit. But the music is the one key factor of the game that I love the most. So, Song Adventure 1, y you survived. You know, like, you survived the 90s and, you know, early to... Yeah, 1999, I believe this game came out. Like, for 1999, it isn't bad. But the music, oh, the music was amazing. Now, moving on to Sonic Adventure 2. A game that I loved a lot more gameplay-wise and character-wise than the first one, but I didn't like it as much for the music. The music, on the other hand, was kind of a hit or miss for me. Because, honestly, I thought the character themes in the first game were a lot better than Sonic Adventure 2's. But let's see what they got for us on this one. So open this up. Let's see. Popping this side out first. So this is the first CD or the first vinyl record. And then you got your book and let's see what they did with this one. So you got the in the opener, so on and so forth, just like the other one. And then you got Sonic themes. Boom, just like that. I want to live and learn, that's a good one. That's the main theme of the game. Believe in myself, Tails. Where's Shadow? Oh, everyone's first ga video game crush in the Sonic universe, Rouge. Don't lie, you found her attractive but not Amy. Knuckles, of course. Unknown to me, the remix that was terrible. Throw it away, Shadow. She's over there clapping. She loves Shadow. Eggman, I liked Eggman's theme. He had a good theme in Sonic Adventure 2. I liked this theme in Adventure 1, but not nearly as much. So that's pretty cool. They give you the book and everything. Let's see which ones are in which thing. Where's Escape from the City? There we go. City Escape. That's the good one. So we want Side A uh, da, 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 4. 
Got side A going here. Let's see, I think it's right about here. Maybe. That is not Seascape, but that's still a good one. Or no, that's no harbor. So we actually went past Seascape. Hold up. Let me figure out. I think it's back here. Oh, that looks cool. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna zoom this shit out. Backing this out. Look at this. The red and the red and black Sonic. It's supposed to be the evil side. Ooh, 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 ooh. And look at the red vinyl, guys. Look at that. Look at that red vinyl. All right. So it should be the first one. Whenever I play this. There we go. Should be the first one. So honestly guys, this is an awesome little collection of soundtracks. I really do think that if you have the money and if you are into vinyl collecting or hell, even if you're a Sonic the Hedgehog fan and there's the code for my vinyl 2 soundtrack, which I will go redeem and put on my phone because I don't got any music on my phone. I just use Spotify, but this actually gives me a reason to go download some music. But guys, if you have the time and the money and you like cool stuff like this, even as a collector as I am. If I went to a con and I knew a voice actor from Song Adventure 1 or 2 was going to be there, I would have them sign these. I would have them autograph this. Hell, I would even have them autograph the vinyl if I had to. These are collector's items to me that I think I'm going to keep around for a very long time. But I wanted to share this experience with you guys because honestly, I'm a 90s kid. I grew up in the 90s. I grew up with this and I know you guys did too. A lot of you guys grew up in the 90s, a lot of you guys grew up, hell, and even the early 2000s, like, I know that some people have been watching me since they were teenagers, and now they're adults, and I'm like, that just makes me feel old, but if, if you are a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, you can't go wrong with Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, they're literally 10 bucks on Xbox Live Arcade, they're backwards compatible on Xbox One X, go play the games, go play the games, experience the music for yourself, I'm gonna basically just sit here all night listening to this. Like, I've got my girlfriend here. I should be paying attention to her. But I'm paying attention to a vinyl record. That's sad. How far has my life come? So, thank you guys anyways for being a part of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, go ahead, leave a dislike. It's not gonna hurt me. If you guys have any, you know, memories of Song Adventure 1 or 2 or the music, Go ahead, let me know down in the comment section down below because I would love to hear about them. Honestly, I, I've i had so many memories that maybe I could chat with you guys about in the comment section. I'm always involved in those comments, so hey. And also, if you want to, down in the comment section, or now in the, down in the description below, you got three links. One to my Twitch channel, which we stream on quite a few times a week. You got my Twitter page where you can find out when videos are coming out, what's coming out. 
and uh, also what I'm doing in my personal life. If you want to catch up with that, it's been pretty wild on Twitter recently. Or, or if you want to get the most experience with me, go to my Discord. Join our Discord. Become a regular. And you can chat with me. I'm usually in the rooms here and there. I usually get messages. If you at me in the Discord, I will answer you. But guys, thank you for watching. And again, I will see you guys next time. Gamer J. Lee signing out. Okay.